Hello, my name is Dominic Rapoli, and today I'm going to try to convince you that by simply feeding starving people around the world, it is actually doing more ecological and environmental harm to our planet, our fellow humans, and the rest of all life as we know it. We need to change how we view the world and how humans fit into one this one planet that we have, we call home. I want to first take you on a journey through time and try to understand how we survived when our species first appeared on Earth to how we survive now as a species on Earth. The domestication of, veg of vegetation started around 10,000 years ago as a viable source for food. Humans had realized over 90,000 years ago that they could plant their favorite foods so they could have more of them rather than foraging for them in their natural habitats. However, farming as a means for an entire given population wasn't popular until around 10,000 years ago. This is when we see the first types of civilizations that have mass population large enough to build the first cities that humans have ever seen. Out of this culture, a fantastic story evolved about our ancestors who had to hunt for their food and forage in the dirt. The glittering generality is that our poor old ancestors had to worry every day where their next meal was going to come from. That story is entirely not true. This can be simply dispelled by the thought experiment of the process of farming, viewed by individuals who are starving. Farming is a resource gathering technique that has a high yield, but it takes a very long time to come to fruition. A group of humans who are on the brink of starvation and worrying every day about where the next meal is coming from does not choose farming as a viable solution to their resource needs. Our culture, which I will refer to as the taker culture, likes to believe that human history started 10,000 years ago, precisely around the same time that farming as a viable way to acquire resources was first being used by our ancestors in North Africa and Mesopotamia. This narrative that has trickled down for the past 10,000 years, practically unchanged, forgets that human beings as a species on this planet have been around for roughly 200,000 years. When were our an what were our ancestors doing for the other 190,000 years of their existence? We know one thing. It wasn't farming. There is a simple experiment that can be done to call attention to a natural population control. If you have 25 mice and give them the resources that 25 mice would need, you will eventually end up with 50 mice. If you did the same thing with 50 mice, you would end up with 100. And given the proper resources, 100 mice would turn into 200 mice. This would only take one generation of mice to double its current population. This experiment could go on indefinitely if you have the proper resources. However, if we change the experiment and only distribute enough resources for 20 mice, the population of our mice will quickly call itself back to 200 mice. This is exactly what happened to nature without any human interference and is exactly what happened to our ancestors for the 190,000 years that our taker culture doesn't bother with mentioning. Now, we can apply what we just learned to start with human beings. If we give 12 million Somalis the proper resources, they would quickly turn into 24 million Somalis. 24 million Somalis would turn into 48 million, and so on and so on. This is obviously not a suitable solution. Soon the amount of resources that would be needed to stop mass starvation would eventually take all the resources that planet Earth could produce in one year. And that would just be feeding the starving Somalis. What needs to be done? In the, is the eradication of traditional, uneducated world viewpoints of the origins of humans and the internal understandings of human bodies, both male and female. Don't give food to starving people unless birth control is mandated upon receiving the resources. Thank you, and I hope that you've learned something today about the nature, the laws of nature, and the cycle of the species on planet Earth and how Earth has learned to naturally balance its population.